All right, folks, <laughs> buckle up, because the next mini beast from Insta360 is not playing around. Meet the Insta360 Go Ultra, the pint-sized powerhouse that's here to punch above its weight, and maybe even KO your bulky old action cam in the process. Let's talk design, and trust me, this little guy has had a serious glow up. Yes, it's chunkier than the Go 3S, but still tiny enough to disappear into your palm. It now sports a square shape, which might sound like a boring geometry lesson, but it actually changes the game. Easier to grip, easier to mount, and probably packing more power inside. It even looks like a cute futuristic microphone. So if someone mistakes it for a podcast mic while it's clipped to your shirt, <laughs> just roll with it. Now, you might be wondering, why Ultra and not Go 4? <laughs> Simple. In Chinese culture, the number four sounds eerily similar to the word for death. And let's be honest, no one wants their camera associated with the Grim Reaper. Ultra, on the other hand, just sounds like it's ready to blast off into the action cam stratosphere. And speaking of clips, the modular magic is still alive. Pop the cam out of its housing and slap it on your shirt, bike, backpack, even your dog's collar. Yes, dog vlogs are a thing now. Vloggers, rejoice. The flip-up screen is back, so you can finally stop guessing whether you're in frame or filming your forehead. On the performance side, boom, 4K at 60 frames per second. That's a massive leap from the previous model's 30 frames per second. Your action shots are going to look smoother than a buttered up skateboard. Plus, recording lights on both the cam and screen ensure no one walks in front of your epic shot thinking it's just a fashion accessory. Now, no official word yet on the battery, sensor, or exact size, but expect solid water and dust resistance. And the camera will come in both black and white. Launch is expected around late August or early September, so keep your wallets ready. If you love tiny cameras that deliver big, the Insta360 GO Ultra might just be your next tiny obsession. Let's talk about GoPro Max 2. One leaked image shows the Max 2 getting blasted by a fire hose level water spray, probably from a Ford truck. <sighs> yeah, it's that intense. This isn't just a splash, it's a total soaking that screams waterproof out of the box, no bulky housing required. <laughs> With rumored waterproofing of 10 meters or more, this camera laughs in the face of rain, rivers, or accidental cannonballs. Bring it on. Thanks to some exciting leaked images from Igor Bogdanov, we're getting a first look at a camera that could seriously shake up the world of 360 action filming. This isn't just a small update. GoPro is bringing powerful new features that have everyone buzzing with excitement. Here's the best part. GoPro officially teased replaceable lenses. If you scratch or crack your lens during a wild adventure, no problem, just swap it out and keep shooting without missing a beat. That's stress-free filming right there. Plus, the Max 2 has visible cooling vents on the front, which means it can stay cool even during long shooting sessions. Smart move! It might just be your new best friend out there. Forget those weak selfie sticks that wobble and make your videos shaky. The Max 2's grip looks tough and comfortable, like it's been working out and is ready for anything. Maybe it's a supercharged invisible stick, or a handy tool with a built-in battery, or even a tripod all in one. Whatever it is, it's clearly built to handle all your adventures. One leaked photo shows the Max 2 spinning so fast that the background turns into a dizzy swirl. This isn't just a neat effect, it's GoPro showing off some serious tech power, hinting at better stabilization or high-speed 360 capture. Imagine flying down a mountain bike trail or zooming on a roller coaster, but your video stays smooth and clear like butter. No more shaky, headache-making clips, just pure cinematic magic. And here's another cool leak. Someone on a high ropes course, helmet on, harness tight, holding the Max 2 while wearing a GoPro on their helmet. This tells us two things. The Max 2 isn't meant to replace your main camera, it's the perfect sidekick. It's great for catching behind the scenes shots, wide views, or fresh angles. You didn't even think of, Plus, that same textured grip shows up again. Looks like it's part of a new official accessory. All right, let's get into the tech stuff. The original Max's 2025 update, honestly, kind of boring. Mostly just a shiny touch-up on the 2019 model. But the Max 2, 
Now that's a whole new level. The big star here is the centered lenses. Why is that important? Because it cleans up those annoying stitching lines in 360 videos, making the invisible selfie stick effect look smooth and flawless, like magic. And get ready for this. The resolution is jumping from 5.6K to a stunning 8K, maybe even with higher frame rates so your videos will look crisp and amazing. Especially after DJI's Osmo 360 impressed us with 8K at 30 frames per second for 100 minutes straight without overheating. If GoPro can match or beat that, it's a huge win for creators everywhere. So, what's the bottom line? The GoPro Max 2 isn't just an upgrade, it's a bold statement. For creators who crave crisp, stable, jaw-dropping 360 footage and gear tough enough to survive every wild adventure, this might just be the ultimate sidekick. The countdown to launch has begun. Get ready, because the Max 2 looks absolutely epic. <clears throat> Let's talk about DJI Osmo Nano from here. <laughs> Another man will talk about this. Leaked images show a two-part setup. A top module housing the main camera, slightly bulkier than the GO3S, possibly due to upgraded optics or built-in stabilization, and a bottom module packed with features, likely a battery, micro screen, control buttons, and possibly speaker or mic vents. It attaches magnetically to your chest via a neck lanyard, making it perfect for hands-free POV shots. A flippable screen seems to allow for both vlogging and selfie modes, while core features like 4K video, Rocksteady stabilization, and DJI's app support are expected. The Osmo Nano is set to launch on July 23, 2025, with an estimated price between $300 and $400. DJI has previously ventured into compact and modular design territory with the Action 2, a camera that received mixed reviews. The first concrete details came from tech insider Igor Bogdanov, who shared the Osmo Nano's FCC listing on his X, formerly Twitter account. In a follow-up post, he revealed a roadmap of upcoming DJI products, which included the Osmo Nano. Interestingly, DJI has registered two different model numbers with the FCC, ON0001 for the camera unit and OD00001 for the display. This all but confirms that the Osmo Nano will feature a modular design similar to the Action 2, allowing users to detach the camera and screen components. According to the FCC documents, the devices will support efficient wireless communication and low power consumption using spread spectrum technology. Stabilization is also set to be top-notch, with the inclusion of Rocksteady 3.0 Plus and Horizon Steady, making it perfect for fast-moving environments such as sports, biking, or even drone footage. This is particularly relevant for drone enthusiasts, as the Osmo Nano could serve as a highly adaptable camera option for DJI's existing drone lineup. Durability is a major concern for the Osmo Nano. Action cameras are often pushed to the limit in extreme conditions like mountain biking, snowboarding, and off-roading. With a modular design and edge-to-edge -edge display, there's a higher risk of parts detaching or cracking. <laughs> 